today guys we are going to be talking about how medical program run here in the Philippines <laughs> Is your girl Mimi you know what time it is so if you're new here welcome to my channel if you're an old subscriber thank you so much for coming back thank you so much for rocking with me and thank you so much for you know tuning in to watch this short video that I'm about to uh, educate you guys on so today guys we're going to be talking about how medical program run here in the Philippines obviously you clicked in because you saw the, the title of the video so yes I'm here to tell you guys how medical programs actually work here in the Philippines before I start this video make sure you like comment and subscribe to this channel so yes guys let's let's get right into this video so guys the first thing I'm going to be talking about is what actually happens inside medical school in the Philippines so first let me talk about the courses so they're going to in first year they're going to teach you the basic things about um, being a science student they're going to teach you like stuff that you probably already know from your high school like physics chemistry anatomy they're going to expose you also to like open your brain to be able to get the major things so yeah that's what they're going to teach you in the first year of medicine also you they'll take you to the lab you'll be able to work with cadavers and all those stuff you know that's basically more of the practical part you're going to also go to like microbiology labs i mean if you're a medical student watching this you're going to understand what i'm saying yeah that's the first thing now in second year they're going to teach you the big like they're going to start hitting the point of what you need to know as a medical student which are like courses like gen path like um pharmacology like you know psychiatry um you know courses that are leading you to medicine medicine like the main thing about medicine so that's what they're going to teach you in the first in the second year all right and also in the second year you're going to start going to the clinics you're going to work with actual patients so by second year you should be able to learn how to give a diagnosis you're just supposed to be able to kind of know symptoms out so you can come up with something that might be the problem of what is going on with your patient so you're already going to the hospital you're already like working with living patient as second year so that's what we call clinics in this country so they're already exposing you to clinics and all those important stuff and so on and so forth that's going to happen in third year and also in fourth year which is like the main thing like that's like all you're gonna do basically that and exams in fourth year going to the hospitals and exam they also have the sgd this is small group discussion right so this happens like um maybe like a group of 10 people and like just you know talk about school talk about a case try to figure out what the problem is just a little bit like small group discussion where you try to figure out stuff with your with your group members and also they're gonna be a doctor there with you to also correct you when you're wrong basically discussing things to help us understand better you know it's it's, it's easier when you're learning with small group than in a big group so that's basically what they're trying to do in that aspect so that's number one thing now let's move to the second thing that you need to know before coming to study here in the philippines the second thing is materials and powerpoint okay guys um this what i mean by materials like powerpoint is like some some doctors actually would give you the materials like the powerpoint after teaching so you can use it to study for example but the trick is sometimes at the end of the day you still have to study with your textbook because sometimes like 50 percent of the exam of the item in the exam might not actually come from the powerpoint they can actually come from just from just the textbook so you have to still read um both of them so at the end of the day they're, they're actually gonna give you the powerpoint 
the material to study on some doctors don't even give you at all literally you're supposed to just listen in the, in the class and go read your text before the exam so that as well the third thing guys is the exam the main thing you guys the main thing now this is how the exam works right we write exam every monday right it's like an assessment exam of what has been taught last week so guys you don't have weekends no 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 um i'm going to the party this weekend blah 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 because you have to study even if you want to go to the party be sure that you're going to pass the, pass the exam so meaning you've already prepared ready read you know for the for the exam that is coming on monday so you need to you know be prepared for exam because every monday is exam and then also we have like a comprehensive exam at the end of the school session where everything that has been taught to you back from the beginning of the session is going to be repeated to you so basically you have to study um all over again but the good thing is some doctors actually give you area of concentration where you have to concentrate for the exam like some topics that you have to like read on like pay attention to because that might that might be what's gonna come out in the exam so yeah they give comprehensive exam apart from the monday or monday exams and also they give um monthly exam as well all right so apart from the end of the year exam the monday exam they also give monthly exam as well so it's more like medicine is like medicine exam they go hand in hand you have to always be assessed on you know if you've been paying attention in class and all of this stuff then the next thing guys is attendance you guys oh my god i can't overemphasize on this like attendance guys is so important in this country it's so important because like attendance carries mark each time you sign in you get a point so even if sometimes if a student is about to fail a particular year and your punctual like your attendance is on point there is a high chance that you're gonna pass that school year because that's how much they care about attendance so you have to be present in class you have to sign your attendance because it carries mark all right so attendance is a very important thing in this country and i love it because you 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 learn some of the students actually learn by listening not just by you know reading so it's also very um it's a good thing you know for students as well attendance then guys the next thing is extracurricular activities yes is apart from the fact that we have to study and you know be medical students and all this stuff there's also extracurricular activities like sports sometimes they have a program where other medical schools participate in to get a to get a reward so it's like medical school versus another medical school so yeah sometimes they actually have that and participating in those sports stuff is actually really important because they also carry mark <laughs> i'm telling you guys they carry mark so sometimes if you're like not doing so well in school but you're very active with the extracurricular activity stuff like the sports thingy there's a possibility that you could pass that's funny right so when they tell you come out you have to be you have to be disciplined you have to actually come out and know what is going on in your school what's going even if you're not participating because in the Part time they also have like attendance you have to check to indicate that you were present all right so you have to also participate in the extracurricular activities like the sports also they have dinner and you know medical dinner like a princess parties and other stuff you have to be there i don't think like this part is you have they have to force you to come because it's a party who doesn't want to go for a party so yeah. then the next thing guys is the dressing okay school most medical schools in the philippines actually wear uniform so uniform is very important you can't wear um you know mufti but there's an exception for wednesday i think wednesday is like the wash day 
where you can where you have to wash your uniform but you have to wear like a school shirt like a top or a polo that has been issued to you by the school not necessarily the uniform all right so you can wear that and you can wear that with pants and all the stuff like jean pants and that so there's no reckless dress in, in medical school here also you have to not wear tattoo tattoos i don't think are allowed even if you do have tattoo make sure to cover them because it's kind of inappropriate in the way they think i don't know but i don't think tattoos are allowed also piercings you have even if you have piercings in your ear like you have to wear just one <laughs> you can't be wearing like so many earrings you have to wear one earring that so they they are very particular with those things and also shoes you can't wear like sandals like slippers to school it has to be like black shoe leather shoe like you have to dress appropriately according to the dressings that has been listed to you before you even apply to the school so you have to go by their own rule also id card is very important you have to have your id card by your side coming inside the gates without your id card girl you're gonna be sent back home they're gonna send you back home to go get your id card so make sure to get your id card with you every time you're going into the school so that's all awesome. hey guys the last but not the least is the social media information okay guys this is what i mean by social media information so um they most times they you know give pass out information via social media especially in fact let me just say facebook they pass out information via facebook so you have to have a facebook account you have to be active on messenger because they're gonna create like a school group thingy so where they pass out information so if you plan on never to have facebook account again you have to have one studying medicine in this country because if not you can't get information and who wouldn't want to get information so that is very important as well you have to have a social media account facebook to be precise so you can be able to get all the information that has been passed out to the students from the school admin and so forth yes guys that's basically the important things that you need to know before coming to study here in the philippines so if you're watching this and you're studying medicine already here in the philippines just comment down below probably i missed something important just comment down below because i believe some people actually read comments so though because they could be informed as well so that's basically it for now guys thank you so much for stopping by thank you so much for watching this please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel all right if you enjoyed this video like this video please because when you like this video youtube actually recommends my video so please like this video guys i can't find the clip of my outro but yes bottom line is thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys